Hello, welcome back and welcome to another how to draw session with me, Duncan Beady. And today I'll be showing you how to draw Molly the Moth from Molly's Moon Mission. So uh, if you've seen the story time video of me reading the story, you'll be familiar with what she looks like. If not, don't worry, because I'll go through step by step nice and slowly and sh show you how to draw Molly the Moth. So let's begin. Oh, there's an ant on my bit of paper. Look, go away. Where did he come from? He scurried off the top. Go on, shoo. Right, he's gone. Gone off to the fruit bowl. Right, so Molly the Moth. That was a bit of an exciting drama, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, Molly the Moth. So she has a sort of semicircular shaped head. So we're going to start by drawing a semicircle like that. And it's curved at the corners and there's a sort of flat bottom to it so it looks like that that's roughly her head shape okay and um, inside her head obviously we're going to do her face so I got a bit distracted there again because the ant looked like he was going to come back so eyes two circles with two dots in the middle and as we have seen on other videos, eyebrows, two rectangles, with little stripes in. There we go, I'm going to give her a smiley mouth, because she's very happy about flying to the moon. Now next we're going to finish off her head with her antennae, and they're sort of leaf shaped things that go off the top of her head. I just realised that I've zoomed in too much, so I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm drawing. I just finished them off. They've got stripes in as well. And those are like her feelers, and that's how moths... Let's pull out a little bit. Bear with me. There we go. That's better. That's how moths feel their way around. I think they detect vibrations in the air or something. So those are her feelers. And next, of course, she needs her body. Now, her body's nice and easy. It's basically like... A sort of half a sausage like that and she's wearing a she likes to wear her space t-shirt so that line across the bottom will be her t-shirt line and then her sort of bottom half is stripy so let's add a few more stripes in there and now we need to do the logo on her t-shirt now molly loves space so she has a space themed t-shirt i have many of these myself and the logo is of a planet so we do a circle and a spaceship flying around it. So we're going to do a bit like the ring of Saturn, but instead of going all the way around, it sort of stops there. And on the end, we're going to draw a tiny little rocket. And that's the logo. And if any of you um, like Lego, in particular space Lego, you'll realise that I sort of borrowed that uh, logo from space Lego. Because I was obsessed with space Lego as a kid, so that's why I wanted to draw her t-shirt like that. So she looks a bit like a, a space Lego man. Anyway, we've done her t-shirt, we've done her body. Now we're going to need to do her arms. Now Molly is a moth and moths are insects. So technically they have six legs. But because Molly sort of walks around like a human, I gave her two legs and four arms. So altogether that makes six. So we're gonna give her four arms. So we're gonna start with one arm here. I'm going to draw a line and then do three little bumps for fingers and then bring that line back up again and then we'll draw the hem of her t-shirt there same on the other side three little bumps for her little fingers and then t-shirt line now back to this side another arm It'd be very handy to have two pairs of arms especially if you're going into space and you've got to fly a spaceship with loads of buttons and levers and controls you could work twice as fast. And then finally the fourth arm, just like all the others. Ta-da! So now we have a four-armed moth, but she doesn't have any legs. So we're going to draw two lines coming down from the bottom of her body like that. And Molly wears these little boots, a bit like baseball boots. So we're going to draw like a boot shape, a foot shape. Now a little line for the toe cap, a little line across for the sole. 
And then she needs one on the other side, otherwise she'd be hopping everywhere. Two vertical lines for the leg. And then a little booty on the end like that. And those are her feet. So she's nearly done. All she needs now is her wings. And obviously they're on her back. So they're going to come out from the side, round over the arms like that. One wing and the other wing flapping out on the other side like so. And then we can do these little motion lines, if you like, to make it look like her wings are, are flapping. She's building up some speed ready to take off. And moth's wings usually have patterns on as well, so Molly's uh, no different. I gave her sort of cir a circular pattern, which is going to draw this behind her arms. So a circle on that side, circle on that side, and it's like a circle in a circle with another circle inside, like that. You don't have to do circular patterns, you can give your moth zigzag wings, you can give them spots, stripes, whatever you fancy. So that is what Molly looks like. There we have Molly the Moth. So do you have fun uh, drawing her? And there are other videos up on my site as well showing you how to draw the other characters from my books. So have a look at those if you haven't already. But in the meantime, uh, have fun with it, enjoy your drawing, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.